morning campers. Um, quick update, I'm having a day off the saddle, the knee is still not right. Um, I can walk on it at least today but it's, it's still not, not great um, so it won't be ready to cycle today. I've, I've decided tomorrow I'm going whether it's ready or not. I haven't really got many days either side. I did schedule in some um, recovery days and some time to, you know, visit a few things like this Ben Nevis right here. It would be lovely to um, hike to the top of that and back. But those days were uh, absorbed straight away by cyclescent.co.uk, who delivered my bike three days late. So kind of there were my recovery days where I was just sat waiting for my bike. Um, so tomorrow it's 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 back on the road. Um, Decided if, if, if the knee gets worse, I'm not going to stop because my knee's sore. If it totally brings me to a grinding halt and I'm in a heap on the floor, then that's me done. It's you know it's going to be the end of the trip. But until that point, I'm just going to keep going and hopefully that I'll be able to ride through it and uh, and come out all right. Um, other than that, it's the day off the saddle. So I've been a bit bored. Had a shave for the first time in a while. Decided to shave in a bit of a goatee. Um, like I say. Bottom makes us do funny things. <laughs> um, I've put a wash on, and um, a lot of people keep asking me how I keep my bike safe, so I thought I'd show you my uh, intricate security system. Um, so, look in the vestibule here, this is where I keep my panniers. I generally put the panniers on the front wheel of the bike that I uh, thread through here. Um, I put a big tent bag in, so that's going to give a little bit of resistance if that front wheel moves. And then I've got a caliper that attached to the front um, spoke, and then that comes into the tent. Then it attaches to this caliper. This caliper is it? The start of my washing line that I have concocted here. So I attach that to here, and then I have a, myself a washing line. And then if the front wheel moves, the tent is going to move like this. So I'm going to wake up, and at this point. I'll use my torch slash attack hammer to uh, keep my possessions up, Flee. Um, so yeah, that, that's that, a lot of people ask me that. You kind of got to be a little bit trusting sometimes. Um, if I'm out in the middle of nowhere, if I'm in Scotland or, or whatever, then I just leave, leave the bike um, behind the tent. But this is a campsite with hundreds of people on, so I've put my patented security system in place. Um, okay, I'm just going to spend this afternoon... Um, Stocking up on, you know, a bit more food. I'll, I'll, I'll make something nice later on. Plan my route a bit more, and um, and then back on the road tomorrow. Okay, and there is Ben Nevis. Just up the way. I think it takes about eight hours to get up there and back down, from what I've uh, heard from the people who've been up in the last couple of days. Something that's certainly on the list of things to do. Just not this time. Okay, it's quarter past two. So having a bit of a walk about, giving the knee a bit of a stretch. See if anyone wants a chin wag. Might make a few new mates, you never know. Um, and also getting somewhere with Wi-Fi. Uh, it's Leeds United's first home game of the season, so Best look to the whites, Ellen Road. Deuce, 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 deuce. Um, I'll be keeping my eye on the score, see how they get on, but I'm uh, sure they're uh, trying to do the business today.